Hey there, everybody. Hi. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone for coming out today. I know this was not easy. It's a challenging day, first day of school. Um, so I want to thank you all for taking time away from your family obligations and work. And I'm so thankful we are all here helping to protect Sunset Park uh, for working families and to help amplify the voices of over 3,000 people that signed the petition thus far. Woo! Amazing. We are delivering our demand to Carlos Menchaca, asking him to say no to the industry city rezoning now. We demand no developer rezonings, no concessions. No concessions, people. Um, so I spent my summer talking a lot about the rezoning with my neighbors, and I've noticed there have been two predominant takeaways. The first was the shockingly high number of people who didn't know anything about the rezoning. Even as late as last night while posting flyers, folks walking by consistently stopped to ask me, what's happening? People do not know. The second response has been outright and firm rejection of the rezoning. People do not need overly complicated presentations to understand what rezoning will mean for them. They know more luxury development equals their displacement. The Sunset Park community has not been engaged in a meaningful way in this process, and the reasoning is because the process is intentionally designed to systematically displace working people. It must be set aside now. Across the five boroughs, neighborhoods are being sold off to the rich at alarming rates, and it's all being done under the false pretense of community benefit. The, de the Blasio administration, the Department of City Planning, and real estate interests are aggressively pushing unjust rezonings to build developments that displace existing people and destabilize neighborhoods. The benefit to the community Industry City has been advertising heavily is the promise of jobs in exchange for the rezoning. The jobs that Industry City will bring, though, will be white-collar office jobs that do not align with the skill set of many of our residents and low-paying service jobs uh, in the proposed hotel or retail that will not support the, even the current cost of living and certainly not that of the increased cost of living that will result. Uh, a very pointed example of community benefits that don't work for communities actually directly correlates to Industry City. Um, is everyone here familiar with the Chelsea Market? Everybody Hello. know about the Chelsea Market? Yeah, so the property that Chelsea Market sits on was actually rezoned in 2012. Uh, and Jamestown Properties, which owns a 50% share in Industry City, actually owned the Chelsea Market until last year. Uh, in 2012, Jamestown utilized almost the exact same strategy in Chelsea that they are using today in Sunset Park. They promised more foot traffic for local businesses and job opportunities for residents in exchange for a huge vertical expansion of the former cookie factory. Despite strong opposition from the Chelsea community, Jamestown, with the aid of the City Council and the DCP, were successful in getting a rezoning passed. The community benefits agreement that resulted consisted of $12 million towards revitalization of the High Line and a paltry $5 million for affordable housing. Uh, <laughs> in 2018, oh sorry, and also a million for uh, NYCHA job training. In 2018, they sold Chelsea Market to a little company known as Google. Has anyone ever heard of Google before? They sold that property for $2.4 billion. And as of today, that $5 million for affordable housing has not been spent on affordable housing. What Jamestown Property did was facilitated the sale of the Chelsea neighborhood to Google folks. And much like they're planning to do in Amazon in our own community now. Based on the evidence, the purpose of this rezoning is to flip the property to Amazon. IC says they can lease or sell to Amazon now, but it would be very difficult for Amazon to occupy the space as is, and much more challenging to get a rezoning passed considering their high profile and the citywide resistance. The investors of Industry City stand to make much more money if they facilitate the rezoning prior to a sale. We cannot accept their false promises and allow for a sale of Sunset Park to billionaires and giant tech companies. What Sunset Park has taken away from this case study and others like it is that we will not participate in this unjust process. We will not accept
concept of developer-led rezoning so that we can clean hotel rooms for the rich. We demand a new model. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of lengthy conversations ahead in our community about what we want for the future of Sunset Park. But that future will be community-led and will serve the community. Yeah.